Hello there YouTube, uh, my name is Tim and I'm here to talk a little about a new series I'm thinking about starting about uh, C Sharp and don't ask me why my PC changes the color scheme but anyway it's about it's gonna be about C Sharp and I wanna know do you wanna do you wanna have a tutorial series that goes all the way from the beginning of C Sharp like from strings, ints, you know, normal variables to making advanced applications with uh, custom DLL files and custom projects and stuff. Do you want this kind of stuff? Um, well, good, because I'm gonna make them. Well, as this is the fir first tutorial, um, we can start off by making a Is it? It's a console application. I know it's boring. It's a black window. Let's name this variables. And my piece is a little bit slow as I'm recording. But that's understandable, I hope. Ooh, I'm tired. So, this is our whole program. The code is gonna be run from here and down. Uh, I don't think we can use message boxes. No. Um, the only thing we can do is console dot write line and write of course and read and read line. So, first of all does make a hello world. Start by console the write. No, can use write line. In parentheses, you do hello world or whatever you want. But if I start this, you'll see it just close. Well, always come into your code in the beginning. Right out, hello world to the console. Well, I want it to wait for me. So console the read line. This will make it stay and wait for me to do something before it proceeds. So that's our program. Hello world. Not hard enough hard at all. Oh, three minutes to make a hello world. Wait. Caps. Wait for me to. Wait for the user to input some data to confirm e slash she wants, wants, wants to close the program. Yeah. Well, you might say, what if I want to print out something the user typed in? Like, for instance, here, I want to write console.readline. It isn't harder than that. So if I write hello there, it's going to write that. But if I want to say that the user, so it says user road colon hello there well that isn't hard either use the user entered colon space and uh, always when you're posting some kind of text it's a string um, so you put it in this kind of stuff but let's start a program so if I say, hi there YouTube, the user said, user, enter. That's not correct. Well, it worked, but it should be the user enter, entered, entered. <laughs> yeah. 
Try it out what the user entered just like that but what if I wanna save this so I can use it later on like the user entered enter his name and then he um, and then uh, he get a question and he answered that and I wanna say like the user in parentheses his name answered and then his answer well check in next tutorial because then I'm gonna go into variables until then have a good time